Hey guys, in this video I'll be explaining the use cases for different types of parallettes and previewing an awesome new product from Baseblocks. Let's get into it. Tall parallettes are useful for a few reasons. One of these is to give extra room for the legs to make exercises easier. For instance, many beginners can't do a tuck or an L-sit on a set of low parallettes. Tall parallettes increase clearance and can make these accessible. As beginners build capacity, they can progress to lower heights to increase the challenge. Tall parallettes can also help unlock advanced skills by providing more degrees of freedom. For instance, with the 90 degree push up on the floor, you must push up as you angle the body or your head will hit the ground. This makes it really challenging and many who find handstand push ups easy still struggle to unlock the 90 degree push up. By elevating the hands, you make the skill considerably less difficult. With tall parallettes, you can seesaw the body or let the head drop below the hands as you angle toward vertical. You can also generate some momentum and use this to help you push up. This means they can help familiarize you with the 90 degree push up as you build capacity. As you become proficient with the movement, you can progress to lower parallettes and then to the floor. Finally, tall parallettes can be used to increase the range of motion. Certain skills like tuck planche push-ups can't be performed on the floor through full range. Your knees will hit the ground and restrict movement. By using tall parallettes, you can train them through full range, speeding your progress toward more challenging postures. As with tall parallettes, short parallettes are useful for a few reasons. Firstly, they can be used as an incremental step when progressing range. For example, Many can hold a tuck planche, but can't do a single tuck planche push-up through a full range of movement. With low parallettes, you can progress the depth of your push-ups incrementally and build toward full reps. Similarly with handstand push-ups, rather than going from the floor to a 12 inch deficit, you can use low parallettes as a level in between. You can also use low parallettes to restrict range and incentivize better form. For instance, with the L sit to planche or press to handstand exercises, the lower the hands, the harder you have to work to clear the legs. You can start on tall parallettes and progress to lower handles to increase the challenge. In a similar way, you can use low parallettes to help unlock the tuck planche. If you can't clear the legs on the ground, start on high parallettes and progress to lower ones as you get stronger. This will force you to lift the hips higher as you lower the hands. Finally, for mechanical advantage planche push-ups, I prefer using low rather than high parallettes as it incentivizes better technique. Ideally, we want the hips and shoulders to stay level throughout the movement, but a common mistake is to drop the hips as the arms straighten. With high parallettes, we can easily cheat the movement and may not be aware of this. By using low parallettes or doing them on the floor, we restrict how much we can drop the legs and ensure better technique. Many use parallettes purely to reduce stress on the wrists. When compared with training on the floor, this keeps the joints in a more neutral position. However, exercises like the planche a 90 degree push up require you to lean forward and still often cause discomfort. This is because despite using parallettes, the forward lean still compresses the wrist joint on the side of the thumb. By using angled parallettes or elevating one side, you can keep the wrists in a more neutral position despite leaning forward. This can reduce pain and injury risk, allowing for more training volume and speeding progress with these skills. As there are benefits to high, low and angled parallettes, I've teamed up with base blocks to bring you an adjustable set. This means you no longer need different pairs for high and low options or any extra equipment to angle them. For more details about these, you can check out the link in the description below.